Hello everyone, my name is Kurt Rasmussen with TY Lynn. Um, today I'm going to show you an example of filling in shapes. Uh, the first example I'm going to start with will be drawing a line having it closed. Now as we see here, as I move closer, my smart window over there is telling me that it's going to close the element and the fill type is none. If I want to change that every time I go to move over, it keeps disappearing on me. So what I'm going to do is a hard snap, which will allow me to come over here to pick my color and fill it in. And as I snap, we are now getting that filled in shape. Now let's take a object that I'm going to draw and now we have it filled in. One of the easiest ways to convert this would be to just use your identification, grab this, um, we're going to see here it says fill none, let me make this a little smaller so everybody can see, I'm going to change this to turn fill on and then I can select the color here. Um, as I unselect that we see now I was able to change that. Another method that we could use would be to draw your line work and then come in and pick this create region. It's located under the drop element toolbar. I'm going to say create region. I could do a flood type. Say fill type is opaque and I'm going to set the color that I want to use and just pick inside and fill it in. Very, very easy. Next method I'm going to show you is very similar to that. Um, generally, when you want to do a flood, you're going to have a lot of other line work there. And really, for you to flood, you would have to go through, um, turn things off that would be in your way so that you could do a nice, clean flood out to the limits and not worry about the other line work interfering. What I just did here was draw everything on the same layer or level that we see there. Now I'm going to come use my select tool and I want to select just the area that I want to flood to. So we see in this example I'm going to say create region. I'm going to tell it to make my flood color let's go blue and when I pick this you notice how it flooded out to just what I've selected. Now I could fill that in on select what I don't need and we see there my other line work is still in there um, but it didn't interfere with the flooding. That will conclude my sample for flooding features or filling features.